Welcome to Ending Circle, our story is Monarch Butterfly. A monarch butterfly settles on a leaf of a milkweed plant. She gently presses a tiny egg to one of its leaves. The egg is the beginning of another monarch butterfly. It's summertime in the north. A breeze stirs the stem of a milkweed plant. The monarch egg is white and shiny. It is the size of a small dot and sticks to a leaf. When the butterfly lays the egg, she makes it sticky. The wind and rain cannot make the egg come loose. In a few days, the egg hatches. Out crawls a small caterpillar also called a larva. First, the caterpillar eats the eggshell. Then it chews away at the milkweed leaf. The egg of the monarch is almost always laid on a milkweed plant. The plant will be its food. The caterpillar eats and grows and begins to change. It breaks out of its old skin, showing a new skin underneath. This is called molting. For two weeks, the caterpillar eats and eats. It molts about five times, and finally, it is full-grown monarch caterpillar, about two inches long. Now something wonderful begins to happen. The caterpillar creeps to the stem of the leaf. It attaches itself to the stem and drops down head first. The caterpillar's bright colors become more greenish, then the skin splits and moves up to the top. The skin falls off and a strange new form appears. It's called a chrysalis or a pupa. The chrysalis is like a blanket that is wrapped around the body growing inside. At first, the chrysalis is long and soft and then it shrinks and hardens and becomes light green decorated with gold dots. Inside, the monarch butterfly begins to grow. About two weeks later, the chrysalis changes again. It turns gray-green before becoming transparent. Inside are white dots and orange and black lines. The chrysalis wiggles and then splits open and the butterfly begins to pull itself out and the head and legs appear first and then the rest of it slides out. The wings are tiny and stuck together and the butterfly's abdomen is big. The abdomen becomes smaller when the fluid is pumped into the wings and the wings become bigger. A caterpillar has turned into a butterfly. This is called metamorphosis. The butterfly sits quietly for a few hours waiting for its wings to dry and harden. At last they begin to move slowly then beat faster and faster. The butterfly flutters up towards the sky. Monarchs have a bad taste that will make a bird or an animal sick if they are eaten. Most of them are left alone. There are many parts to a butterfly. There's wings and antennas, his head with his proboscis, and his thorax and its abdomen and legs. Hmm. The monarch butterfly only flies during the day. When it rains, the butterfly stays dry, hidden underneath leaves. Fall is on its way and soon it will be cold. If the butterfly doesn't fly south, it will die. Once again, it darts up into the sky. The butterfly will take a long trip to a warmer place. This is called migration. The monarch will fly to where its ancestors have always gone and sometimes to the very same tree. Imagine that. Other monarchs keep appearing, making a cloud of orange in the sky. At night, they rest in trees. Sometimes they fly up to 12 miles an hour and almost a hundred
100 miles in one day. There could be over a thousand butterflies traveling together. They fly to places such as Florida and Southern California and Mexico. Some butterflies migrate 4,000 miles. They will stay south throughout the winter. Some towns and cities are proud to have butterflies visit them. They have festivals to celebrate their arrival. Children dress up for parades in butterfly costumes. There's a band and visitors come from all around. Monarchs can cluster together, thousands of them clinging to one tree, a butterfly tree. In the spring, these butterflies will migrate north again to the fields of milkweed plants. <sighs> They're already being seen in California and Texas and some in Florida. They are making their trip up here. We usually see monarchs around August. Thank you for coming to the story, Monarch Butterfly.